In this video, we'll look at the Edit Theme Files feature, which allows you to make changes to a stencil theme's files from within the store's control panel. We'll cover how to access the editor, its features, how to make edits, and how to preview those edits. The Edit Theme Files feature will allow more advanced customizations than are available in the theme editor, but we do still recommend using Stencil CLI for major theme adjustments and new theme development. First, let's walk through how to access edit theme files. In the Big Commerce Store's control panel, go to Storefront Design, My Themes. From here, we'll need to make a copy of the theme that we'll be customizing. Edit theme files cannot be used on a theme that is currently applied to the store to eliminate the risk of messing up a live store. It also cannot be used on the theme's original version. I'll click on the theme's thumbnail image to bring up the theme page. Then, I'll select Theme Options in the top right and Make a Copy. It will now prompt you to name the new theme copy. Once the copy is created, we'll be redirected back to the My Themes page in the Control Panel. Scrolling down, the newly copied theme will appear in My Theme List though it may take a few seconds of processing time for the theme to fully copy. I'll click on the copied themes thumbnail image and be taken to the themes page. From there, click Customize, which will bring up the theme editor in a new tab. Edit Theme Files appears at the bottom of the theme editor menu. Once the editor is open, you'll see a file tree in the left nav. Opening up the directories, you'll notice that some files appear blue, while others are gray. The gray files are read-only. I do want to call out some key files that cannot currently be edited here. config.json, schema.json, and the JavaScript files. Also, new files cannot be created in Edit Theme Files, so if you need to add a custom page or a theme image, you will still need to use Stencil CLI for those types of edits. Now, let's try editing a file. A common customization is to place a site seal in the store footer. I'll navigate to Templates, Components, Common, and then open the footer.html page. The editor does let you collapse sections for easier navigation and has syntax highlighting. Once you start typing, it will auto-suggest HTML for you. When I make a new div, it also creates a closing tag for me automatically. Now I'll paste my site seal code into this new div. Now that I've edited the file, there's a blue dot that appears next to the file name, both in the left navigation and in the tab at the top. This signifies that I have unsaved changes. Undo and redo shortcuts are supported here, so I can step back changes that I've made. Once you do save the file though, undo is no longer possible. In the bottom left, there's an option to preview. Now you must save your edited files before you can preview the theme. Saving may take a minute or two though, as the theme does need to compile. Within the preview window, there are toggles so you can view how your changes will look on mobile devices. Once you're done previewing, click the Close Preview button and you'll be returned to the editor. Once you're ready to apply your edited theme to the store, simply select it from the My Themes page in the control panel and click Apply. Just to recap, we looked at accessing edit theme files within the control panel, navigating the editor, and making and previewing edits to a theme. For documentation on accessing and using this feature, please visit our support site at support.bigcommerce.com.